Hi, I'm New Noam Buton, and I'm happy to present you my first tutorial. Today I show you how to convert a line into a circle using only tops. I was always interested uh, in a motion of I understand. I understood that uh, we could apply uh, all transformations we want uh, to a shape before we turn it into a circle. This is an uh, artwork uh, by my friend, and uh, I suggest you to follow him. By the way, also. Uh, after I developed this technique, I understood that there is brilliant tutorial on similar topic by Paquetta 12. But uh, he used here the same logic uh, and applied it to SOPs, not to TOPs. If we talk about point clouds, it's very important to save all information only in textures. First theory, uh, I described a whole um, tutorial in four steps. First, uh, we need uh, a line that would be normalized between 0 and 1. So it has length uh, of 1. And first thing that we need to do is to make a proportion between uh, R values or X values uh, and uh, degrees by which we would uh, rotate each point. So uh, here is the first point, uh, it's a zero, and we should rotate this point uh, in the circle by zero degrees. This point should be rotated by one degrees and so on. So, uh, last point will be rotated almost by 360 degrees. Uh, second, we need to find a radius. Uh, like, it's pretty simple step. We know that length of uh, our line is 1. Uh, and also we know formula for... Uh, circumference of a circle, it's uh, 2 multiplied by P multiplied by R. So uh, the radius will be 1 divided uh, by 2 multiplied by P. Next step is to um, bring all points to origin to the point uh, from which this point will be rotated. So here I animated this uh, step and uh, according to it, uh, each point should be moved by, to zero by uh, x axis and a minus or plus uh, radius by Z radius. You could actually uh, rotate from any uh, of these, uh, you could rotate uh, points from any of these points, but I choose as an origin this one. Uh, and fourth step, we finally should Rotate them. According to degrees, we calculated a first step. So each point uh, was rotated to uh, was rotated by the degree uh, calculated according to its r or x uh, coordinate. 
So let's build the whole system from scratch. First, we need constant. Let it will be 101 and a ramp. to bead float and uh, nearest pixel. Then we should also use a constant set resolution only and um, these um, helps us to uh, set points into line. We could, okay, one second, 32 RGB. Yep. Here are our points. We could use a little more points, our line. Um, first step, as I said, we need to extract all x uh, uh, values and convert them into degrees. Uh, remember, it's very important to use normalized object uh, on input, so uh, normalized by X axis. So uh, any object that you would use uh, in the future should be before uh, uh, from zero to one. Here we set uh, now like input and here our Uh, x values. And we simply make a proportion between uh, from range 0 to 1 to range 0 to 300 uh, and 59, almost uh, 360, but uh, like I don't want to rotate uh, last point uh, to the point of origin. Okay, and we call it theta. Second um, thing that we need to do is to move uh, all points uh, to zero by x. Uh, uh, a second step uh, that we need to do is to calculate radius. We simply use constant here, set resolution only, and here I 32 mono, one divided by uh, two multiplied by math dot pi. This is our radius.
third step, uh, we need to move all points to origin. Um, by origin, I mean the point from uh, which we would rotate each point. And uh, first step is to move them to zero by R or X uh, axis. So we could simply use constant with uh, value zero here, also 32 mono. And uh, then we need to move all points by um, by R uh, on uh, Z axis. So here we use also 32 mono and here we use blue and this is our Z values. Then we simply add uh, R to that values. We could also make a new re reorder to underline that we shifted all points. I call it updated coordinates. Then we need to rotate uh, each point by degree we calculated at first step. And for this, we will use uh, this simple formula. Uh, but instead of why we use uh, Z values here, of course, uh, uh, in Touch Designer, Z value is this one. So we need to calculate uh, cosinus theta and sinus theta. Then we need to multiply it uh, x uh, values uh, by cosinus and y or z in our case uh, by sinus. And we use here updated coordinates. Thirty two mono, it's in. Here we use green thirty two, it's Y, and uh, here blue, it's set. Um, I multiply this one by this one and this one by this one. Then I should subtract. Yep. This one from this one. 
uh, this is new x values or r. Uh, then we need to do the same for our new z values. This multiplied by sine value and this multiplied by cosine and add. Finally, your real water. Yes, we can see that there is actually a circle here. And you could use the initial values here to see how we could get one shape from another. Uh, all our transformations uh, are right, at least I think so, and we could move to fun part. Here we simply use instancing technique. Positions. And also I use rectangle as uh, like uh, a form, a shape for inst instancing. You could uh, choose whatever you want, and I want to rotate uh, each rectangle by random degree. For that, I use noise. Just noise. Offset to zero and not monochrome. Also, Multiply. Math. Range from minus one. Uh, minus zero five to zero five. Minus one hundred and eighty to uh, 180. And also, here we two zero. Center setup, camera, camera light and render. Here we use transform and I will change resolution here.
Here is pretty simple shape and we could do several things with that. First of all, we could add noise just right here and see what is going on. Well, predictable, simple, and not very interesting, maybe. Uh, then, uh, uh, I used this system to uh, rotate uh, different shapes, including like the um, different point clouds, and uh, we could use here a uh, point generator to obtain like uh, these torus I showed you uh, at the beginning. For example, cube surface, one million points and yep. Look, uh, here we need to do what I said here at the beginning. We need to normalize uh, all values by R. Yep. And also we need uh, after we do that, we could uh, update uh, scales of this shape uh, until we like it, actually. Point transform, which is brilliant node. Like this is R, yep. This is something interesting. Let's stop this noise for a, for a minute. Yep, I like this one. Also, I want to soft shadows. Uh, Then, as I said at the beginning, we could uh, apply all transformation at the first step before uh, we turn whole shape uh, into a circle. For example, here we could use again point transform and rotate it by uh, x values. Seconds. Well, I like this. Also, we could use some amount of noise here to see what happens. Thank you. 
as you see, we could obtain pretty unpredictable uh, and interesting shapes out of this system. Uh, so you could play it and uh, see the result. Uh, so this is it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I can wait to see what you will do with, the, with this system. Also, I'm uh, happy to announce that I'm launched uh, a Patreon uh, and you could support me if you like what I do. <laughs>